Hi everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have a warm-up video for you. You won't need any equipment, so let's go ahead and get started. I have 10 warm-up exercises we're going to go through, 30 seconds apiece, no rest in between. Starting with a high knee march with a crunch. So reaching up and crunching down, engaging those abdominals each time you crunch down. Increasing your range of motion each time you lift that leg. Now we have a lunge forward with a reach and then pull those arms back like you're trying to get those shoulder blades to touch. So this warm up you can do before any of the other videos I have. So you can create a playlist and put this at the start. Or maybe you're going to go out and play soccer with your kids. And because you're not five years old anymore, sorry, we're doing toe touch circles now. Okay, so coming up to the side, down to the mat, walk your hands across and up to the other side. Yeah, so because you're not five years old anymore, you need to warm up before you go play so that you don't pull anything. So you can put this on, it's five minutes and then you're ready to go. Next up we have a boxer shuffle. Get that heart rate up a little bit. Um, if you're worried about your knees, if you don't have very good knees or you've been told not to do jumping, you can make it a march. Okay? Whatever works for you. Next up, we have a squat with an overhead reach. So reach up, squat down as low as you can, sticking your butt out for that squat, okay? So like lead with your bum, feet are about shoulder distance apart. Now we're warming up, so if this is as low as you can go for your squat, that's fine. You'll find the further through the interval you get, the lower you can go. Now have a good flat back. Now we have a torso twist with a knee, so it's one, two, third with a knee. One, two, third with a knee. And try to keep those hips facing forward the whole time. Okay, you're rotating at the waist here. Next up is jumping jacks. So you've probably seen jumping jacks before. Your kids probably do them. <laughs> or you did them when you were a kid. So you don't want any noodly arms, okay? Nice and strong. Abs are tight. Bum is tight. Again, if you're told you shouldn't be jumping, then you can step out to the side. Step out to the side. Just because you can't jump doesn't mean you shouldn't be exercising. Now we have a side lunge with a knee up, so side lunge, knee, other side, knee. So you can do what I'm doing and stop in between, make sure your balance is okay, make sure your shoulders are back, I'm always working on my posture, make sure you're breathing this whole time as well, it's so easy to hold your breath when you're exercising. So the next one is something I call up and outs. So you're just bouncing on your toes, opening your hip up and bringing it back. Again, if you can't jump, then you're just gonna walk the motion. We're just getting our hips open and ready for whatever you're about to do. This is a very general warm up, so it can be used before any workout really. And our last one is high knee holds. So it's one, two, third when you do a double bounce. Again, if you can't, then you're march, march, higher, march, march, higher. OK, 
Okay. We've got just 10 seconds left. And that's the end of our warm up. Now you can go ahead and choose another one of my workouts, go play with your kids, go for a run, whatever your poison is, or you can run through this two or three more times and make that your workout. Hope to see you again soon.